welcome back to my channel today i have a very exciting unboxing video for you i finally picked up a new bag and before i start i want you to guess the color leave a comment and tell me if you've guessed the color it's definitely not a color that i was planning to buy right now um so yeah i'm very excited to see it because i haven't seen it actually in real life in person i placed an order online the box is with me it's massive and i can't wait to unbox it with you so if you're interested and want to see which bag i got keep watching okay so this is the box that arrived today i already opened the ooh, top of it um so i don't really waste time here on camera and look how big this box is it's massive so let's open it i really like how they wrapped everything inside um so yeah this is how it looks inside um some bubble wrap my receipt and something else i'll open these later then they also sent which is actually really cool they sent a bag a gucci bag which is really cool and ah, this is it oh my god i'm so excited um yeah i did purchase something from gucci so it is a gucci bag but can you guess the color <laughs> okay let me do the thumbnail and then i'll continue okay so one thing i wanted to mention quickly before i unbox uh, this bag is the shipping. I love going to boutiques and buying my handbags and other purchases from boutiques. I love the experience, like the shopping experience and everything. But when I checked online, the shipping was once two days for delivery, and I was like, okay, that's actually amazing. If I order tonight, it will arrive tomorrow or the day after, and that's great because I didn't, I couldn't really go to Central, so I thought, okay, I'll just order online and uh, I did but the shipping actually took longer than expected this unboxing video was supposed to go up last week but I couldn't film it because I didn't get my bag my order was cancelled there was some problem with the order then I had to order the bag all over again and uh, then the shipping took more definitely more than two days it took about a week I would say but it was bank holiday so I guess the post office wasn't working so um, yeah, I think it took about four to five days. So if you're ordering online, if it says one to two days, this is not going to happen because um, they ship the bag from Italy. I thought they would ship it from some of the boutiques here in London because actually it is available here in the boutiques as well. But they ship the bag from Italy and it takes more than two days <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to let you know about the shipping which i'm not really happy about and i was i was actually worried that i won't get the bag on time because i'm traveling in two days uh to bulgaria i'm going back home and i wanted to bring the bag with me and i was scared that i'm not gonna get it on time but i literally just got the bag two hours ago and i can't wait to see it because i have never ever seen this color i've seen the bag i've never seen the bag in this color um, in person so I'm really excited and here we go let's open it this is the bag inside and <laughs> okay Okay, so this is the bag in the dust bag. Actually, these dust bags are amazing. I really like the quality of them. They're like silky. And I, I think Gucci has the best dust bags. They feel very luxurious and I love them. I only keep my lambskin bags in dust bags, in the original dust bags. Um, so I think I'll keep this one. Are you ready? I'm so excited. Oh, it still has wrapping on, but I can, oh my God, I can see the color. So let's see how many of you guessed the colour. Come on. <laughs> okay, can you guys see it? You can definitely see the colour. Um, Alright. I really like how they wrapped... Ooh, I really like how they wrapped the bag. Oh my god, it's so amazing. 
I love it. Oh my god, I didn't expect to like it that much because I've never seen this colour. I'm in love. Okay. I'm actually scared to touch the bag because it's lambskin. So yeah, let me remove that annoying wrapping around the handle as well. Come on. This is actually so annoying. I'm too lazy to go get scissors. Okay, the wrapping is off. This is the bag. Oh my god, I love it. I absolutely love it. I'll tell you why and how I chose this bag and the colour. But I was afraid that it would be too small and I thought I would want to exchange it for a larger size. I'm quite tall. I am 171 centimeters, which is about 5 foot 6, 5 foot 7. I think five foot seven. This size was not really the right size when I tried it in the store. And the size that suit me the most is the largest size. So I can't wait to try this one on. But I absolutely love this size in this color. So we'll see. I think I'll just keep this one. Uh, we'll see how it will look on. I'll insert some clips. Okay, so let me show you the back. Look at this heart. This is another detail that I absolutely love. I think it gives the bag a more of a young and trendy look and feel and yeah this is the colour, it is a, I think it looks slightly brighter on camera, yeah it definitely looks a bit brighter because of my lighting, but this is it, what do you guys think, did you guys guess the colour? So let me tell you how and why I picked this bag, my ideal bag when I was looking for bags was the Dior Eva. Because it's large and I really needed a large bag. So really the two bags that I was contemplating between was the Dear Reva in grey. And the Gucci Marmont um, in nude with bells that I showed you in one of my vlogs. Which I will link down below in case you've missed it um, and you want to check it out. I couldn't decide for days and I was getting really annoyed because I couldn't decide. I'm a bit indecisive. So I was getting really annoyed at myself that I can't decide which bag I want to buy. So last week when I was ordering the bag, it was I think two and a half in the morning and I was still awake and I was like thinking about the bags and I was like, okay, I have to order a bag. And uh, I went to Gucci's website first and I was going to go to the Gucci website and the Dior website after to like see the bags again and decide which one I'm going to get. So I went to the Gucci website and I started like scrolling down and searching for the nude bag with pearls. I saw this one, I clicked on it and I was like, oh, this is very interesting colour. It's a new colour which I haven't seen. So I think this is a new colour for the season. If I'm not wrong, I might be wrong. I've never seen it before. And I clicked on it, I looked at it, I looked if they have the larger size, they didn't have the smaller or the larger, they only had this size in this colour. So I was like, okay, that's interesting, I've never considered buying a red bag, I've always wanted to buy a red bag, but I never considered buying a red bag right now, because I actually needed something different. And I was like, you know what, actually a red bag will be a great addition to my handbag collection and my wardrobe. I started putting outfits together in my head and I thought this would be such a great statement colour. And if you've watched my other videos, you know I'm completely obsessed with the red at the moment. And my obsession started when I bought my Jadio bracelet from Dior. It's all because of Laura. <laughs> Laura, you started my obsession with red. So when I saw this bag, I didn't even go to the Dior website, I added this red one to my basket, I didn't even go look for the nude one with pearls, I checked out, I paid for it, and I couldn't believe what I've done. I was like, oh my god, did I make the right decision? Because I don't usually make spontaneous decisions, especially when it comes to buying handbags. You know how picky I am, how hard it is for me to choose a handbag, because I'm always very picky. and. Next morning I called my mum and I told her that I ordered a red Gucci bag and she was like, are you sure? <laughs> so yeah, when I told my other friends, they were like, why did you order a red bag? You should have ordered something else. My mum is completely obsessed with the um, Gucci Marmont in nude with pearls and she really wanted me to buy that one. However, I did order this one, I ended up getting this one and now that I see it in person, I'm just completely in love with it and I think I made the right choice. 
I'm not gonna go for a large size, I think, because I actually think the red in this size is perfect. What do you guys think? So let me open it, because I actually didn't even open it. Um, to show you how it looks on the inside. It has a clasp here. And this is the inside of the bag. Oh, it's actually quite spacious. It's actually quite spacious inside. I wanted to mention a few other things. I'm not I'm not gonna review the bag because I've never had this bag before and I can't really make a review now. I have to wear it for a while and if you're interested I can always make a review later and tell you if I regret my purchase or if I don't. So yeah, we'll see. But I wanted to mention a few other things before I end this video. When I was choosing a bag, I wasn't sure about the Gucci Marmont because it's very similar to other bags that I have and especially the Chanel flap that I have, it's a very similar shape but I think people will always compare handbags to the classic Chanel flap but I think this is such a nice version, it's much better price to be honest and I would never buy the Chanel flap bag in lambskin if I have to be honest. I would never spend that much money and buy it in lambskin. I was a bit scared that I'm buying a bag in lambskin. I know this one will scratch but the price of this bag wasn't bad at all and uh, I think I paid, I can't remember exactly how much I paid, I will leave a link to the bag down so you can check but it was about £1200 if I'm not wrong. This is lambskin but it's definitely not as soft as the peekaboo. Um, the lambskin on my peekaboo is buttery soft it's the softest lambskin i've ever felt this one is really nice uh, like good quality like very soft lambskin as well but just wanted to mention that it's not as soft as the peekaboo i'll also compare uh, this one to my jumbo so you can see the size comparison i'll include short clips by the way my size is the medium i think i think they just released new gucci marmont which are like extra small so they have a smaller version and a larger version and yeah I got the medium one but yeah I think they just released new even like smaller sizes which are really really cute this color completely draw me in I love the stitching of the bag I love the hard detail I know some people don't really like the hard detail at the back I love it I know this is a very trendy bag at the moment and many people have it and I stay away from like trendy bags um, and I don't, I don't really like bags that everyone has, but I haven't seen that many people with this bag in red. <laughs> so I'm really happy with my choice. I think this bag is very versatile. I can dress it up, I can dress it down. I think it will be practical as well. I still, I have to start using the bag, but I think the lock will, will be very practical as well. And I love the revival of the old Gigi logo. I think it looks really cool. And I also have a belt with the same buckle so um, yeah I'm not sure if I'll wear them together because I think it will be a bit too much um, but um, yeah I, I, I wear my belt a lot so um, I'm sure I'll, I'll wear this bag a lot so this was my quick unboxing I'm not sure if it's quick I think it's actually longer than I expected uh, but I really hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you think in the comment section down below about the bag if you like the bag if you like the color I chose Oh, I know many people might not like the bag. I personally love it and that's fine. But I would love to hear your opinion and what do you think about this bag. If you have this bag, is it practical? Um, is, it, is it durable? Does it scratch easily? Um, because I've never had the marmot before. So that would be very helpful and interesting to read. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it, I really appreciate it. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and if you like fashion related videos. Don't forget to come say hi on my social media platforms which you can see here on the screen and also I'll link them down below. Everything that I'm wearing, the bag that I showed you will be linked down below in the description box. So don't forget to check it out if you want direct links to everything that I'm wearing and this gorgeous bag. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking time to watch and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!